Welcome back to In the Mood for Mumby. If you've only just joined us, you've come at a very good time because I'm joined in the studio now by uh, a very illustrious guest, Mr. Tom Wyatt. Uh, Tom, thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having me, Dan. Yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure to see you in a kind of non-church context for once because uh, Tom and I go to the same church, which is Extra Frontiers. That's right, that's right. So um, Tom is here to talk about um, the YMCA Sleep Easy, and we'll come on to that in a few minutes' time. But um, without wishing to sound facetious, Tom, I think a lot of people's familiarity with the YMCA probably won't extend very much beyond the Village People song. So for those who aren't aware, what is the YMCA and what does it do? Yeah, that's completely understandable that people uh, may not know what we're all about. I didn't know what we were all about until about a year ago. Um, but we as X to YMCA are a local charity. Um, what does YMCA stand for? Just so people... YMCA is Young Man's Christian Association, right. which reflects our heritage, but maybe not so much what we do at present. Basically, um, what we do is house homeless young people um, from across Exeter and Devon. Um, we house over 40 young people and just help them get back on their feet. Um, give them the support, the help that they need, job advice, um, other support uh, to, to get um, back on their feet and, and hopefully turn things around. Mm. And whereabouts in Exeter are you based? So we have, uh, our primary base is on St David's Hill. Uh, there's other bits that we do. We have move on houses across Exeter, um, but we're based on St David's Hill. Okay, and when you say you're providing accommodation for homeless people, is it kind of in-house accommodation, or does the charity own a number of properties around the city which you use? Um, so, like I say, our, our primary base is on St David's Hill. On St David's Hill, we house 31 young people. Wow. Um, and then we have move-on houses. So for young people, when they've been with us a long time, um, they're ready to move on, but perhaps not quite yet ready to move into their own place. Um, we've got a couple of move-on houses where they can go and uh, be a bit more independent, um, but also be interdependent, because um, there'll be other residents living there and letting those challenges of living with other people. So is it kind of sort of dormitory accommodation? Do people sort of share meals together? What what sort of shape does it take? So each person's got their own little flat, um, self-contained thing. So uh, it's got a kitchenette in there, it's got bed, sofa, everything that they need um, to, to begin to live an independent life so they cook their own food and that sort of thing. But then there's also um, a communal living space so they do get to know each other and the friendships build and stuff. Okay. Well, like I say, we're going to talk about the the event that you're you're here to publicise in a few minutes. But again, just to kind of to to put some meat on the bones, so to speak, I think it would be really good if people understood what sort of made you get involved. Because you no, know, I know you very well. You're a very sort of conscientious, intelligent chap, the kind of person who would get involved in this sort of thing. But for people who don't know, I think it's how does one wander into the YMCA, figuratively speaking? Sure. Um, so my story into it. Um, firstly, the things to explain is, is whilst that. Uh, primary focus is housing homeless young people. There's other things that we do. Um, so one of those things is uh, we run job advice uh, in the community. So we have a few locations across the city where we help anybody who's struggling to find work. Um, we give them a bit, of, a bit of advice, help them put together a CV, help them do application forms, that sort of thing. Um, and that was my door in. So I found out about the YMCA. I, like many people only knew the song and it was nothing more than that but I, I was hearing this thing about YMCA and the great stuff that they were doing in the city and uh, and was just very intrigued um, there, there was someone in our church who uh, works for the YMCA and I approached them and, and started chatting to them and uh, they gave me the opportunity to volunteer um, at, at one of these community job clubs and so I got involved there and was just amazed to see what a holistic thing the YMCA were doing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a handout, it, it wasn't just a pat on the back, it was, it was something that was equipping people um, to see change in their own lives and to see a long-lasting change, not, not just a quick fix. Um, and so that was, that was an amazing thing for me. And um, another early entrance point into the uh, YMCA was last year's Sleep Easy event. Um, so after just a few weeks of volunteering uh, with the YMCA, I did, I did last year's Sleep Easy, which as I explained later about what Sleep Easy is, was uh, quite a baptism in a fire, really. It's quite a... Quite <laughs> Hopefully a <fun> not literally. <laughs> <laughs> not literally, but it's quite a, quite a full-on event, and so that, that really was what really got me excited for, um, for the YMCA. And, yeah. and then from there, um, about, uh, about 10 months ago, I came on staff with the YMCA. Okay, I mean, it, it, just the way you've been talking about it very passionately there, it, it seems like the reason you got involved was very much the kind of the practical impact that you could see rather than any kind of sympathy with the ideals of the organisation, although presumably you have that as well. Yeah, it, it's certainly a bit of both, you know. Um, I, I would say it would be 
uh, from that motivation of, of, of the ideals of the YMCA um, and then seeing the practical good that it does, they, they, they walk the walk as well as talk the talk. Um, that, that was really what attracted me to them. I've, I, I've come across some organisations that claim to be doing certain things um, that, that aren't really having the impact that they hope to be. And, uh, and with the YMCA, I've just consistently found that, that they are making a change, that, it, that it's real, long-lasting um, impact that it's making people's lives. Tom is here representing the brilliant work that the Exeter YMCA do. We've kind of set the scene, so tell us, what is the Sleep Easy? Sure, well, because um, the focus of our work is helping homeless young people, many of whom um, their background might be rough sleeping, uh, the idea is that loads of people, hopefully hundreds of people, are going to come out and uh, sleep rough for a night, um, both to get a bit of experience of of what it's like. Obviously it's not the full thing, um, but just a, a glimpse of some of the challenges that are faced by rough sleepers, as well as get sponsored for it to uh, to allow us as X Y M T to do more to help those who face homelessness. Yeah, I was meaning to ask you about the kind of, for instance, if I were to sign up, I know it's probably a little bit late now because you've got so many people doing it, but we'll, okay, we'll come on to that in a second. Um, but um, if I were to sign up, I mean, how close to the real thing, I suppose, is the Sleep Easy in terms of I suppose, recreating the conditions that homeless people would find themselves in. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't claim that it is the real thing. I think, I think the real challenge of, of rough sleeping is it's just not knowing, um, not knowing where you're going to be that night, not knowing um, whether it's going to be safe, just, just that, that insecurity that it brings. Uh, whereas for us on the night, we'll have security, we'll be fenced in, um, there'll be hot food for sale, there's going to be live entertainment. So it's not quite the same, but, yes. but some of those challenges will be there. The, the challenge of just how cold it will be, um, how uncomfortable it is to um, sleep on the floor. Um, thing, things like just being disturbed during the middle of the night um, and, and not getting good night's sleep and just how groggy that, that makes you feel. Yeah. If, uh, I, think, I think so many people come away thinking, wow, if that, if that was every night, how would I feel? And, and, and they do understand a little bit more the challenges that rough sleep face. Now, you were talking about when you first got involved with the YMCA, you did the Sleep Easy last year and you described it as a baptism of fire. <laughs> what exactly happened? Um... I mean, just just the experience of sleeping out for a night is it's something that not many people have done before, is it? And so, um, so that experience, the cold um, that night, it did rain. Uh, we we had some cover over us, but uh, some people certainly still got a bit a bit damp. And and uh, yeah, just just that experience of wow, this this is the sort of thing that, that many people face. Um, and and this is what X and YMCA are helping. This is this is something that, that they are seeing change in. Okay. Um, was, was an amazing experience. Hmm. So how many people are you expecting? Because it, it's, it's Saturday the 16th. How many people are the YMCA expecting? Uh, to? How many have you got signed up to actually do it? Signed up so far, we've got about 150 people. Wow. Which is, which is amazing. Um, it's already doubled what we've got last year. Um, registration closes kind of midnight on Wednesday. So there's, there's still three more days for people to sign up. Um, we'd, we'd love uh, many, many more to, to get involved. Is there any upper limit on how many people you can have? Because which location are you having this in? So it's going to be at the Guildhall Shopping Centre. OK, so you um, can fit a few more in, yeah, in other we, words. Yeah, we, we can have as many as come, basically, yeah. OK. And um, I suppose as a kind of, as a guideline, I mean... The YMCA presumably has other big sort of fundraising events throughout the year, and you have to have an idea of how much each is going to raise. So how much would be a good amount, I suppose, for the YMCA yeah. to, to get from this? Yeah, I mean, and anything that we raise always just blows us away, you know, that people would, would want to raise money for us. Last year, we had, um, we raised £12,500, which, which is amazing. That's, that's the and that's from 75 that's, people? And that's from 75. So wow. based on that, you could, yeah... Hope, hopefully, if we could double numbers, to to double that figure would would be incredible. Um, so that that's that's kind of what we're hoping for. But but like I say, because it is just people's generosity um, and and the hard work people do, uh, we we don't like to guess too much on what yeah. those figures could be. Yeah. Okay. So people listening to this and saying yes, I really want to get involved, or I might not be able to do it on the night, but I know someone who can, and I'd like to donate. How do they go about doing so? Sure. Well, the main thing to do would be to get onto the website which is www.sleepeasyexeter.org.uk. That's all one word. All one word, okay. sleepeasyexeter.org.uk. Um, 
And from there, they'll find all the info, in, all the info they need more about what's going to happen on the evening. Um, they can also then sign up from there, um, and they can also search for for other people who who are doing it, um, and then and then sponsor them. So definitely head to the website um, to find out all about it. And after this event, Tom, um, where do you, what are you up to next with the organisation? What's the next big thing looming on the horizon? Sure, so the next event is a sponsored walk. Um, so it's a walk across Dartmoor, it's called Y Walk. Um, and uh, yeah, that will go from Oakhampton to Postbridge. Um, and uh, yeah, very much looking forward to that. But for now, our eyes are set on Sleep Easy. <laughs> yes, and I, I presume you're kind of, you know, a lot of early nights over the next week just to kind of prepare yourself for the for the for the worst case scenario yeah yeah that'd be nice that'd be nice wouldn't it um for myself on the night i probably will be up for the whole thing um <laughs> so, yeah trying trying to get in as much sleep in the meantime as i possibly can just um feeling fresh but we, we really are feeling good about it i mean um there's there's so much happening on the evening we're, we're having some live entertainment um as i said earlier we're having adam isaac who's obviously a very big local star um been on bbc the voice um, finalist on that and so yeah we're going to have live music I'm going to have some of our residents sharing their story I'm going to have workshops throughout the night as well for people to find out a bit more about what we do um, so yeah we're, we're just really excited about all that's lined up for the evening about having such a big crowd um, so I think all those things will allow me to overlook the lack of sleep <laughs> well let's hope so Tom it's been an absolute pleasure having you here in the studio so, uh, do you want to give out the website one more time just in case people www.sleepeasyexeter.org.uk